the dog days could be over. In a new development, Commander Biden, the president's two-year-old German shepherd, has been removed from the White House after a string of biting incidents, at least a dozen involving Secret Service personnel. Persistent questions have dogged officials. The first family is working through ways uh, to make this situation better for everyone. Last night, the first lady's communications director said in a statement, the president and first lady care deeply about the safety of those who work at the White House and those who protect them every day. Adding, commander is not presently on the White House campus while next steps are evaluated. The statement came shortly after CNN, citing multiple sources, reported that Commander has been involved in more biting incidents than previously acknowledged at the White House. NBC News has not confirmed that reporting. New this morning, a Secret Service official says the scope of biting incidents is unclear, telling NBC News, I don't know how thoroughly these are tracked. I had no visibility on the White House staff having issues. Dog behavior expert Laura Sharkey. Most dogs that are biting in these situations are actually biting out of fear. Even though they look ferocious and terrifying, they're usually afraid. Longtime White House grounds manager Dale Haney has cared for presidential pets going back to the Nixon years and is frequently seen with Commander. The White House says Haney disputed a published account that appeared to show he had been bitten. An official said Haney told them Commander was being playful and there was no bite, no pressure of teeth on his skin, no mark, just some dog slobber. Commander was a gift from the president's brother after another family pet, Major Biden, was rehomed to friends in Delaware after biting incidents of his own. Commander's fate remains uncertain. Officials tell me at this point he has not been rehomed. He's just not here today. Craig? All right. Well, good luck, Commander. Kelly, oh, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.